Let's make a plot of the position of the spring versus time. And let's pick MATLAB's brain on how to make a plot. So go into the search documentation field and search for plot return. And the fir first search result is a 2D line plot, which is what we want to do. So I'll go to that and scroll down. And I see an example here. So once I have the vectors x and y, I can plot x versus y using that command. And if I scroll down further, it shows me how I can modify the properties of the curve. So this uses dash lines. So dash dash uses dash lines here. R says that plot the, uh, the line in red. And this gives me square markers, the S. So you can see the effect here. And to see how you can modify the line properties, scroll up. And if you look at the help on line specification, it shows me how I can modify how my curve um, is going to look. So let me go back to um, my <coughs> code and scroll down and start a new section of the code. And I've already tried it out here. So you can call it plotting and then type in this command. So plot t versus x. And here I'm saying plot it using solid line with uh, a black symbol, with, with black color. OK? And if I run that, and you should have the figure window pop up. And you will see that you get pretty jagged lines because the um, our, our time step is pretty coarse. So if I go and change my time step, let's say to 1,000, and I rerun it using F5 and bring up the figure window, I see that I get a much smoother line. And it's, it's looking more like um, the cosine result that we expect. And I like to dock this figure. So you can go here and click on this. And it docks it into um, the main MATLAB interface. And so I can now modify my code and see how it changes the figure.